you get. Okay, you get out of here now and don't come back. And, oh, I won't have you tormenting her anymore. So go and get your things together. You can sleep in his apartment. Clean this stuff up. I'm not your maid anymore. You two are a pair of animals. Not one, not one other person who's had the cruelty to walk out on a man in a restaurant. Is that what he said? He didn't have to say anything. He was so humiliated, he practically limped when he came in. Fine, you had a swell Shut up! You, you didn't even go to see if he was all right. No, you didn't. Didn't do a damn thing. How do you like that? I left him babbling in the door. Oh, you lost! Oh, yeah. yeah. The scum of the earth and you're looking at it. Now you hit on the nose. Get out of here now! I gotta talk to the boss. You are not going to Where talk is to he? Don't talk to him! No, no, no. We're gonna have an abrupt conversation, him and me.
of the seats. You, you can't see anything in this neighborhood. I mean, Fox just in this goddamn neighborhood. There are people all around you, don't you realize that? Don't bother me, I am busy. I'm saying goodbye to you. I'm not coming back anymore. Going to see all of it tomorrow? Pop, get this now, will you? Okay? Every time I've left, there's always been a fight that sent me out of here. Today I realized something about myself and, and I tried to, to I tried to explain it to you, but I, I think I'm just not smart enough to make any sense out of it. To hell with whose fault it is or anything like that. Let's just let's just wrap it up. Come on, come on we'll tell mom. No, I, I come want, on, I don't want to see her. I, I don't want to see her. Why don't you want to see her? Don't, don't bother me, will you? What do you mean you don't want to say? You don't want to call me yellow, do you? Look, it's my fault. I'm a bum, okay? Do you hear what I said? Uh, did you plant here? Alright, we had it out, okay? I'm going and I'm not writing anymore. No, I think that's best. You know, there's no use drawing it out. You'll just never get long. People ask me where I am and what I'm doing. You, you don't know and you don't care. That way, it'll be off your mind and you can stop writing that up again. Okay? So you're gonna wish me lost now? She can tell me. There is no necessity to mention the pen. You got no point in that. He put his arm around you and you... Pop, you're never gonna see what I am, so what's the use of arguing, okay? If, if, if I strike oil, I'll send you a check. Meantime, forget him, I lie. That's fight. Shake hands, sir. Not mine. This is the way you're going, so goodbye. May you rot in hell if you leave this house. Exactly what is it that you want from me? I want you to know that on the train, in the mountain, in the valleys, wherever you go, that you, you cut your life down for spite. No. Spite? No. Spite is the word of your undoing. And when you're rotting beside a railroad track, Remember that. No. And don't you dare blame me. I'm not blaming it on you. I won't take the rap for this, you understand? That's just what I've been explaining to you. You are trying to put a knife in me. Don't you think I don't know what you're doing? All right, phony, then just play it on. Are uh, you crazy, baby? Leave it there. Don't move it. What is that? You know goddamn well what that is. I have never seen that. You saw it, okay? The mice didn't put it in the cellar. You saw it. What's it supposed to make you? Huh? It's supposed to make you make a hero out of you? It's supposed to make, make me sorry for you? Never heard of it. There'll be no pity for you, okay? No pity. You hear that, Spite? No, you're gonna hear the truth. What you are and what I am. But it's Spite! Would you cut it out now, all man, right? Man, don't know who we are, the man's gonna know. You never told the truth for ten minutes in this house. Hey, we always told the truth in Oh, you big boy, what are you, the assistant by it? No, you're one of the two assistants to the assistant, aren't you? Well, I'm practically... Practically full of it. We all are, and I'm through with it. Now hear this, Willie. This is me. I, I know you. You know I had no address for three months? I stole a suit. City and I was in jail. <laughs> I suppose that's Stop my fault. Stop crying. I'm through with it. I suppose that's my fault, huh? I stole myself out of every good job since high school. Whose fault is that? I couldn't stand taking orders from anybody because you blew me so full of hot air. That's whose fault then, it is. Then hang yourself. No. no. Hang yourself. Why are you taking yourself tonight, Willie? Okay. I walked down eleven flights with a pen in my hand. Okay. Are you listening to me? I walk in. Are you listening to me? I walked in 11 flights with a pen in my hand, and I stopped, okay? I stopped in the middle of that office building, and I saw the sky. I saw the things that I love in this world. The, the work, the time to sit and smoke, okay? And, and I'm looking at this pen, and I'm thinking to myself, what the hell am I grabbing this for? What, what am I doing trying to make a contemptuous begging fool of myself? Why am I trying to become what I don't want to be, when all I want is out there waiting for me the, the minute I say I know who I am? The door to your life is wide open. Uh, I'm only like, five a dozen, and so are you. Not a diamond dozen. I am Willie Loman, and, and you are Fifth Loman. I am not a leader of men, Willie, and neither are you, okay? I tried seven states but couldn't raise it. You were never anything more than a hard working drummer who landed the ash can like all the rest of them, okay? I'm a bucket now, can't you gather my meaning? I'm not bringing home any prizes anymore, you're going to stop waiting for me to bring them home. Why is he not I'm nothing. I'm nothing, Bob. Can't you see who I am? <laughs> Will you take this dream and burn it?
I got the boy. Put it with And you can't, you can't. Ben? How do I? Ben? Where do I? Right to do that. 
necessity for it. Why didn't anyone come? It was a very nice funeral. Oh, the people, you know. Maybe they blame him. No, no, no. That's, uh, you know, it's a rough world. I can't they wouldn't blame him. I can't understand it, you know. It's especially first time in 35 years we're just about free to hear. But all he needed was a little salary. He was even finished with the dentist. No man needs a little salary. I can't understand it. A lot of nice things, you know, when you come home from a trip or on Sundays, you know, making the front suit, uh, finishing the cellar, you know, putting up the front porch or making the extra bathroom, putting up the garage. You know, I tell you, Charlie, there's more of him in the front suit than all the sales he ever made. Yeah, yeah he was a happy man with the batch of cement. He was so wonderful with his hands. He had all the wrong dreams. All wrong. Don't say that, man. He didn't know who he was. Don't say that. Nobody does believe this man. You don't understand. Your father was a salesman. And for a salesman, there's no rock bottom for the life. Okay? He don't, he don't put a nut to a bolt. He don't tell you the law. He don't give you medicine. He's a man out there in the blue, riding on a smile and a shoe shine. And when they stop smiling back, it's like an earthquake. Then he gets some few spots on your hat and you finish. Nobody to explain this man. The salesman's got a dream. That comes with the territory. Charlie, the man didn't know who he was. Don't say that. Alright? Don't say that. Matt, why don't you come? You know what? I'm not like that. Is. I'm gonna stay in this town and I'll beat this right. Mom and brothers. I know who I am, kid. All right, you know who you are, I know who I am, okay? I'm going to show you, I'm going to show everybody that Willie Loman did not die in vain. He had a good dream to come out number one man. It's the only dream you can have. You fought it out there, that's what I'm going to win for. Come on, Mom. Just, uh, just give me a minute. Go, go along, Charlie. We're free! We're free! 